Okie dokie guys and gals, very welcome back to another thing I didn't know about C Sharp and today we'll be looking at the conditional operator. And thanks a lot to Andrew on YouTube for suggesting that I'll have a look at it for this series. Very interesting stuff. Let's do it. Okay, so before we have a look at the conditional attribute, let's have a quick look at preprocessor directives because these are very related topics. So I'll go ahead and define a constant called foo here. So preprocessor directives, it means basically that they're processed before the compiler does its thing. So I can say if foo and end if, and here I'll do something like fooing away. So if we were to run this now, we would get fooing away in our console. And if I were to comment out this first line here, you can see Visual Studio does its thing here. It's actually telling us that it's graying out this line saying if you, if you run it now, we'll get nothing. So foo was a constant that I have defined here, uh, right here, something that I made up. But there are uh, more of these constants defined. There's one called debug and there's one called trace. So if I say debug here, it's keeping it, this thing grayed out. And that's because I'm compiling for release mode here. So if I go into debug, this thing will light up again. I could also use the trace constant. So that's lit up in debug. And if I head over to release, it's still lit up. So let's have a look at that. I'm going to right click on my, my project and go into properties. And we can see here in release, the debug constant is not defined, but the trace is. And if we head over to debug, both are defined. Uh, and of course, here we could define our own if we want to define a constant um, throughout the project. Okay, so now I'm going to call, I'm going to get rid of this and just call class two. So I'm going into my little, um, I have a little class library in this, um, this solution here. Class two do stuff. So here is where we'll have a look at the conditional attribute on line 26 here. But let's start with this little one. I'm saying if debug, call a method called debug method. And that method is basically wrapped inside of one of these, if debug. So we're basically saying that uh, only emit this call if the debug uh, constant is active during compilation. And of course, if I was to remove this if statement here, and um, switch over to release, we would basically get a compile time error here because the debug method will not be emitted. So conditional debug mode, oh, sorry, conditional debug method, that call will work a little bit different. So this method is not wrapped in an if statement. So basically it's saying conditional based on the debug constant. And this will work a little bit different. So here the actual method will be emitted to IL, but the uh, call itself will be omitted, which is basically exactly the same way as the debug class and the trace class work. Okay, so I now opened up both our debug compiled version of the assembly and the release compiled version of the assembly here in just decompiled from Telerik. And that's a free decompilation tool if you need one. So we can see here in the debug compiled version that all three methods made it. And in do stuff we have call to debug method, call to conditional debug method, and we have our debug trace message and our trace message. So if I switch over to C-sharp, we should basically see a pretty much exactly the same thing as we had in Visual Studio. So if we switch over to the release compiled version, the debug method will now be gone. 
So the debug method didn't make it, make it and we only have one call in do stuff. So the interesting thing to note here is that the method decorated with a conditional attribute, it actually made it, it it's actually emitted IL for it and uh, the call to it was omitted. The call uh, from do stuff was omitted. Which is very interesting from a, a class library's point of view. So the calling party could actually uh, keep calling this method now. And uh, whether it, the, the call will, would be emitted or omitted is depending on this constant being available in compile time. So thanks to Andrew on YouTube for suggesting I have a look at the conditional attribute for this series. Very interesting stuff. Okay, so I'll see you next week with something else I didn't know about C-sharp. Have a good one.